everybody. Welcome to Life at Sunny Lee with Kathy Jarvis. And it's been another busy week. It's October the 12th. And we haven't had any appointments or anything this week. So it's been basically working on the shed, trying to get it finished before winter. And that's what he's been doing most of the time. We've had to go to town almost every day to pick up something, either a board that he needs or more paint or something. So we've eaten in town most of the week. And Saturday, Saturday I had to shampoo the carpets again. As you know, I have an older dog and she does have some accidents. So the shampooing of the carpet is becoming almost a weekly or bi-weekly thing to do. But I got that done and then we had to make a trip to Columbus because he was looking for a Pacific board they couldn't find here. We didn't find it up there, but I did find a small animal crate, which I bought just to have on hand. And on Sunday, we went to church. And then when we got home, I went and harvested the sweet potatoes that were in the outside uh, raised bed. Not the one inside the greenhouse, but the one outside in the main garden. And the reason I did that is because they said it was supposed to be cold weather and it was getting to the point where it was time to harvest them. So we harvest them. I got 48 pounds of sweet potatoes from that bin. That was an only a 4x4 four by four by four area that I planted sweet potatoes in. So that was a really good harvest. And they're upstairs in the small bathroom with a heater on and with a vaporizer on to make it warmer in more humid form. So this is how we're going to do it this year. I've got my sweet potatoes in this bag, uh, box, um, tote, and I've got a thermometer back there. I got a pan of water and then I got the little space heater. So I'm going to keep, try to keep this temperature around 85 to 90 degrees just in this little room and I'm going to do this for probably uh, 5 to 14 days. We'll check them and see how they're looking in next Sunday and we'll judge from there. And then on Monday, I see, Monday I worked in the garage with the cats. It was getting colder. And I noticed that they were, some of them had codes again, were sneezing and stuff. So I decided to put, and they dumped over the water. So I had to clean crates again. So they're constantly dumping over the water and getting their bed or area where they sleep wet. And they're coming out soaking wet, which is not good for these cool mornings. So I decided to make them beds. And I was looking at Amazon, trying to find some type of bed that I could put in there. And I found one I liked, so I went into the garage to measure, to make sure it would work in the crates, when I noticed the old cat carriers. It's just standing in the corner, and I'm thinking, hmm, could I? So I took the doors off of them, and I saved the box that the crate came in. So I put all the doors into that crate, I mean, into that box, so I know where they're at. And they're easy to pop on and off. And then I put towels inside of the carriers and put the carriers inside the crates and the, I didn't have enough carriers for all the crates and so I decided to take the divider that divides the crates in half and turn it sideways and make it second story and put a sheet and a bed for the other cats there so they all have beds that they're not going to be able to get water on if uh, they dump over the water. So I did that on Monday and I finally got around to fixing the two pieces of wire that had broken on the futon around back. I got those fixed on Monday. And I worked in the high greenhouse cutting back the cucumber vines that had overgrown and the sweet potato vines so I could get to the popcorn to check it. And that is not a one day job. It took, that's gonna take a while. 
and I worked on it, let's see, I worked on it Monday, I worked on it Wednesday, worked on it a little bit Thursday, and Friday I pretty much had them under control. So it took a while to get that, the pathways cleared, and to get the weeds out of the pathway, and really, I meant to put gravel down, and put, um, weed fabric and gravel down or sand or something down on these paths before uh, earlier this spring they just something that just didn't happen and so hopefully it'll happen this winter I'll uh, see and then we went to town and got groceries Tuesday again we had to go to town and get paint for the shed and I froze the sweet peppers and the tomatoes that had harvested out of the greenhouse and then on this day I harvested the rest of the cucumbers and the jalapeno and the other red peppers plus all those pepper uh, cucumbers and that watermelon over there so the kitchen is a mess right now with everything to process. And I also got around to painting the um, one outdoor furniture, the cha chass or whatever it's called, that lone lounge chair thing that the cats like to set in. It was starting to rust. So that happens with this type of furniture if you leave it out all year. And I found some bare paint spray paint and tried it I loved it it worked really well so I sprayed that got that ready for winter and what else did I do oh, I topped off the fish tank and I watered all the house plants and then on Thursday well also on Wednesday I harvested was going to harvest all the watermelons so we went out there and checked the one just no more and got checked and the combine across the road came by dust city i couldn't even see to the house with all the dust so i just picked up that one watermelon i had checked and brought it to the house and did not go back out all the cats came running they were scared of the noise and stuff so i put everything up early that night and then on thursday thursday i froze a bunch of those jalapeno peppers. I still have some left over. I'm going to make some cowboy candy. See if never made it before. I made it to see if I liked it. And then I processed the watermelon and I started processing the cucumbers um, and worked out in the garden some more. And on Friday I harvested the sweet potato, uh, not sweet potatoes, but the uh, popcorn and hung it up and the sweet peppers out of the a low greenhouse and process those so it has been one busy week not only that but taking care of all the animals uh, she's the pup shoes is still having trouble walking she has a few good days like Monday and Tuesday she was and Wednesday she really had good days Thursday and Friday she was crossing those back legs and needing assistance to walk so that has been our week. It has been a busy one. Um, still waiting for the door for the shed to come. And um, he's been working on the trim, getting the trim work up. So hopefully you're ha you have a good week. Hopefully you're staying busy. Hopefully you're preparing. Hoping you're getting your pantries rotated and getting them filled for winter. Don't forget that it's getting to be fall. There's other chores that need to be done if you have pets. Make sure you have extra food for them in case you get snowed in or in case uh, the ice comes and you can't get on the road. Or in case anything else happens and you can't get the food, make sure you have at least one bag ahead. Uh, do that with all your animals. Make sure you have bedding for them. Make sure you have fresh water, bottled water in case you need it. Just get yourself prepared. Okay, winter's coming. So like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.